Hi, Jim. Well, you, you mentioned that, in other words, truth reality has nothing to do with the merry-go-round. Correct. So the mind has a hard time fathoming something that is separate from reality, which is functional. It can't fathom it. It can't understand it. What it can do, which makes four billion human beings on earth sick, is imagine that it understands God. God is not a word. God's not uh, a Bible verse. God is not a church. God's not a hymn. God is not a thought. You can't think about God. If you think about God, then you're going to think about it according to your conditioning. What is he, a Baptist God, Catholic God, a Zen Buddhist God, a Zuni God, or whatever? So if you think about God, you must only, you must always pull it out of the past, what you were taught as a child or by various experiences. But thinking about God is not God. It's the absence of thought that makes God very real to you. The absence of thought which means the absence of you. There can't be God and you, or you and God. There can only be an absence of what used to be called you, and then and that absence understands, because there's something else there, fills the absent space, you might say. Now, don't you, don't you go into imagination into any of the things that you're hearing here tonight Rather, be aware that you're going into imagination if you are. For example, if you say, if you say I can jump off, off the, the merry-go-round, you're making a mistake. See, there's a lot of, lot of the traps along the way. What happens is that you give up thinking that there was anyone on the merry-go-round to begin with. You see, you, you understand, you weren't really on the merry-go-round because you didn't exist and never have and never will as you, as Dorothy, or as Vernon, or as Bill. The absence, the seeing that you were an artificial self built out of imagination, built out of experience, built out of desires, the seeing of that is the leaping off of the merry-go-round. You've understood that you didn't exist at all in the sense that you thought you did, and caused all that misery to yourself by living from imagination.